What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I wanted to share with you another quick tip. Now, I know especially when I'm using X particles, this drives me crazy. Say I'm doing like a water sim, and I want my timeline, you know, to stop at a certain point because I just want to let my water settle so that I'm able to um, continue from there. And so normally, like if I have something really long, like say like two, three, four hundred frames, because I want to get to a point where my water is settled, I'd actually have to wait and like just watch my simulation and like, oh, that's a good spot, then hit stop. But sometimes if you, you know, you have an extended um, time of period, like if you have it colliding with rocks or it's stuff in your scene, it's going to take a little bit longer. And so what I discovered here was if you go to animate and come down to play mode, you can actually stop it from cycling. I didn't realize it's on cycle by default, but if you click on simple and then you go and you hit play in your timeline, you can actually have it stop at the very end there which is very helpful especially if you're doing particle simulations so it's like if i have 200 frames here i just want to let it play through i'm like okay i want to wait till my my water's um it's all settled so that i could go from that particular frame and have it start from there at my simulation this helps out immensely so i just wanted to share that with you guys it's just a quick tip i know it drove me crazy so i'm sure it's um driving a lot of you guys crazy since it's on cycles by default but hopefully this helps you guys out as i discover stuff you know i'm always going to share it with you guys so until next time keep creating and thanks again check back soon